Good evening and welcome to MTV News Update for today, Wednesday, November 29, 2017. In the news tonight, President Granger reiterated that public officers must take their leave and not request cash instead. Parliamentary opposition vows to bring the fire to the budget debate. Prince Chinook crushed by truck while crossing her cattle over the Lower Souvenir Public Road. And Economist says Budget 2018 is replete with old ideas. With the details of these and other stories, I'm Ashley Scotland. Thank you for joining us. We begin tonight's newscast by telling you that President David Granger says Commissioner of Police Silal Prasad has not been sent an administrative leave. However, a letter purportedly sent by Public Security Minister Kemraj Ramchatan states that he is to continue on his leave. Nikhil John do with the details. It has been reported in sections of the media that Commissioner of Police Silal Prasad has proceeded on further leave after it was communicated to him to do so, allegedly by Minister of Public Security Kemraj Ramjatan. Prasad was sworn in as the top cop in March 2015 by then President Donald Ramatar. The top cop has had several months of accumulative annual leave. Prasad was earlier sent on his annual leave. However, before returning to his post last Friday, a letter was allegedly sent to him to remain on leave until further notice. During an interview with President David Granger at State House this morning, the President noted that the government does not support the practice of public officers to accumulate huge amounts of annual leave and then request in payment in lieu of the leave. In the case of the Acting Commissioner of Police, uh, Mr. Silal Prasad, um, and in the case of every other public servant, we said that public servants must enjoy the leave when it is due. And this encourages the development of a good career um, system in which the subordinates are allowed to act. The head of state noted that, in Prasad's case, the government insisted that the accumulated leave be fully enjoyed by the top cop rather than having it being piecemeal. Uh, and we said, let him take his leave, and then at the end of that leave, um, we will decide how we go forward. But right now, there is nothing abnormal or irregular about Mr. Prasad's going on leave. The leave is due to him. He's not been sent on administrative leave. He's enjoying vacation leave to which he's entitled. The letter purportedly sent by the public security minister indicated that Prasad would be sent on leave in the public's interest. It added that his absence from the office would allow the continuation of the initiatives and innovations being pursued by the Ghana Police Force's temporary administration to be completed before Prasad returns to work. The letter further added that, effective November 24, 2017, Prasad is directed to proceed on leave until further notice. Nikhil John, the reporting for MTV News Update. The debate on Budget 2018 is expected to be heated. The opposition party, who is eagerly awaiting the budget debate, intends to bash the government on the issue of police reform. Sandy Ramatar with the details. Opposition Member of Parliament, Clement Rohi, believes the safety and protection of citizens were not catered for in the budget. Rohi expressed disappointment as majority of the projects laid under the security sector were initially birthed by the previous administration. Police reform will attract major attention at the estimates of budget 2018, according to Rohi. All question of the future of the structure of the force, it seems as though they are moves being contemplated to restructure the Ghana police force. Uh, I mean, it, the internal structure I'm speaking about. Uh, what is going to happen there is anyone's guess. Uh, that's number, number two. The uh, anti-crime section within the police force as well as the uh, CID are also expected to come under uh, scrutiny based on what the COI uh, recommended. This follows the Commissioner of Police Silal Prasad Arbab leave from the Guyana Police Force. Additionally, he was asked to remain on leave, allegedly by Minister of Public Security Kamra Dramjadan. Rohi believes this should not be the case as the Minister should not be the one instructing the Commissioner. Commissioner Silal will be retiring in the fourth quarter of next year after serving the force for decades. In safeguarding public security and trust, the sector was allocated $30.7 billion. 
A $267 billion budget was presented in the National Assembly on November 2017. Sandy Ramutar for MTV's News Update. The driver of motor lorry GLL 5714 is in custody assisting with investigation into a fatal accident which resulted in the death of cattle farmer Mudni Prasad. Investigation revealed that the 73-year-old victim was in the process of crossing her cattle on the Lower Souvenir Public Road around 6 hours 30. In the process, she came in contact with the tray of the lorry. As a result of the impact, she fell and the rear left wheel of the vehicle ran over her head. A breathalyzer test was administered and the 30-year-old driver of East La Penitence tested negative for alcohol. Economist and social commentator Raymond Gaskin says the 2018 national budget will not change the economic status of any Guyanese. He claims the budget is replete with old ideas. Here is more from Yanis Abrams. According to political activist Raymond Gaskin, national budget 2018 is replete with old ideas. He had nothing new to say about anything. He doesn't have any new ideas about the economy or anything in this in this budget. It's a long-winded presentation, about three hours, and uh, much ado about nothing. There's nothing out in there. Nothing in there for anybody. The political activist reminded that in the coalition's party manifesto in the lead-up to the 2015 elections, they have promised to provide jobs for the people, yet unemployment is still rampant. Gaskin questioned why the finance minister during his budget presentation did not state the government's plan for the impoverished. He did not give you the unemployment rate in the budget. He should have done that. The unemployment rate here is very high. He didn't give you that. The poverty rate is very high. Uh, he said the external debt is going up. The domestic debt is increasing. Uh, so he didn't have any good news for you. All it could be five hundred dollars for the old age pensioners. The political activist emphasized that there was no proper consultation before the budget was crafted. I don't think they have any proper consultations on these matters. They just uh, they don't talk to the trade union movement. They don't talk to workers. They don't talk to the farmers and the RP and the GAU and the TUC. I don't think they do any proper consultations at all. I don't think so. This government does not consult with anybody. A $267.1 billion budget was presented by the finance minister on November 27. It is deemed the journey to the good life continues. Reporting for MTV's News Update, I am Yanis Abrams. More news to look ahead. Do stay tuned. Using state-of-the-art technology and highly trained professionals, let Optique Vision Care assist you with your eye care. Visit any of their four convenient locations at Times Square Mall on Grove Public Road, Helena No. 1 Mahaika, at the Giftland Mall, and our newest location at 350 East Street North Cummingsburg for added convenience. Their doors are open every day in the Giftland Mall, Monday through Saturday at Grove and East Street, every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at Mahaika. Call them today, 266-0126-222-7333 or 227-7744. BB is where you're going with so much Windex for clean windows. All them fancy curtains, it's not even Christmas. Hi, girl, mind your own business. I got big plans. But, BB, your house don't even have windows. Eh, hey, girl, you ain't think I know it ain't got window? Yes, I know it ain't got window. But look, Mokesh promised me that he carried me down by the window factory when he come home at Eccles. It named Beeson. Like you know nothing, girl. Right now, everybody talking about how Beeson got the strongest windows. Plus, they got a deal right now. If you buy 10 windows, you get a free bathroom window. So I could mind new business instead of you minding me own. Beeson Windows and Doors. Serving Guyana with the highest quality standard windows for your home, office, or commercial building. Shop early for Christmas and save big at Sino Mall. Shop now and get 50% off large decorated flowers. Was for 5000 Now, two for $5,000 in various designs. Get bouquets or save 50% off curtains. Was 2000 Now, $1,000. Shop vases and a variety of wall pictures. 
cat blankets that you're sure to love. Plus hats and caps at holiday cheap prices. Slippers for only $500. Gorgeous bras. And oh yes, it's Christmas, so don't forget the bed sheets at Sino Mall, 16 Cold Street, Georgetown. Opposite Demico and the Kitty Bus Park. Call now at 231 8200 or 617 6088. Happy Holidays! Everything is connected our planet, our water sources, including the water we drink. Sometimes harmful bacteria end up in our streams and canals. Although treated, the risks are high. You can prevent this pollution and contamination by maintaining your septic tank and grease traps. Call the experts at Puran Brothers Disposal Incorporated on 264-1239 or 603-5050. Keeping it clean is what we do best. We are the experts when it comes to creative marketing, brand campaigns, concept development, and production. With our diverse knowledge and tactical marketing strategies, we are the go-to company to reignite your brand. Having been in the industry for over 20 years, we're Ghana's number one choice for brand development. You are still with News Update, welcome back. President David Granger says the government is very respectful of the rulings of the High Court. President Granger was responding to a question on the High Court decision made in favor of the Police Service Commission to pursue with police promotions. Here are the details from Nikhil Jondo. That ruling by the Acting Chief Justice Roxon George Wilshire stated that the Minister of State Joseph Harmon could not have written to the Commission instructing that police promotions be placed on hold. The acting Chief Justice made her decision last week after the matter was brought up for consideration. We uh, always wait for the written ruling. Um, not that we distrust the press, but sometimes, you know, um, people may get things wrong. When we get the written ruling, there will be um, a formal response. But um, so far, we are respectful of that ruling. The head of state re-emphasized his concern that state security was in jeopardy. President Granger added that the government would have failed had they sat back and let the security concerns go unnoticed. The warnings which um, came to us in a very direct manner um, that uh, state security was being imperiled, was being jeopardized by certain actions. So there was a question of necessity on the part of the government of Guyana. The High Court ruling has also instructed that Attorney General Basil Williams pay the sum of $200,000 to Attorney Rajendra Jagobin. Jagobin was the person who filed a constitutional challenge in the High Court in August. Article 226 one states that, save as otherwise provided in this constitution, in the exercise of its functions under this constitution, a commission shall not be subject to the direction or control of any other person or authority. Nikhil John, the reporting for MTV News Update. According to Tom Clark Royston King, the 2018 national budget is one that demonstrates leadership and is people friendly. In the same budget, City Hall has been awarded $200 million to improve the city. Find out more in this Yanis Abrams report. The National 2018 Budget, The Journey to a Good Life Continues, which was read by the Minister of Finance, Winston Jordan, on Monday, November 27, made provisions for the city. Minister Jordan announced that $200 million will be awarded to City Hall. The sum of $1 billion has been budgeted to be transferred to NDCs and the nine mayoralties. A further sum of $200 million is targeted to improve the city of Georgetown. During a telephone interview with Tom Clark Royce thinking, he stated that the budget is people friendly. The Tom Clark commended the Minister of Finance for what he termed as a well-crafted budget. 
I think the budget demonstrates um, foresight, it demonstrates vision, it demonstrates leadership. And, and I really, really am particularly happy that in the budget itself, we have aspects dealing with local democracy, and in particular dealing with matters affecting the image and reputation and governance of the city of Georgetown. And I think it's a, a well-written budget. It is well-crafted, and I would like again to congratulate the Honorable Minister of Finance, and we look forward to working with him, working with his ministry, working with all of government to achieve all of the things that, that, we, that he said, it, that all of the things that are in the budget. King stated that the APNU AFC regime is always committed to the city council and is delighted with the decision that has been made. The chief administrator noted the distribution of funds will be decided as a council. Uh, as prescribed in the budget, that, that will have to be made by a decision of council and um, it is for the council to decide as a collective what they will use, what project they will use the money um, to, to, to achieve. Earlier this month, the mayor and city council was rescued from central government with $475,635,245. The money was to clear city hall debt to Seaborn's Waste Management and Purim Brothers Incorporated. Reporting for MTV's News Update, I am Yanis Abrams. The Guyana Gold and Diamond Miners Association has welcomed the noticeable results of its meaningful consultations with the government on Budget 2018. Not only will the changes to the current regime have positive impacts in expanding and sustaining the local mining industry, but also the economic well-being of Guyana as a whole. Over the years, the gold and diamond mining sector has contributed to Guyana's growing economy. The Guyana Gold and Diamond Miners Association has expressed their gratitude to the Granger administration for acknowledging their contributions. The opposition party, as well as the private sector commission, has been complaining of the frequency and power outages and claimed that the Guyana Power and Light does not have the capacity to provide a reliable and adequate supply of electricity. Due to there being no provision in the budget to address this issue, the opposition party is peeved. Sandy Ramatar filed this report. No new initiative to solve the immediate issue of blackout has been addressed in the 2018 budget, which has angered opposition member of parliament, one Agile. What we are hearing about is a discussion about 50 megawatts to be uh, generated through natural gas. But there is nothing in the budget to deal with the immediate or short-term issue of blackouts in Guyana. Only recently, the private sector commission and the opposition leader, Barrett Jagdew, had stated that the Guyana Power and Light does not have the capacity to provide a reliable and adequate supply of electricity. This, they both claim that it hampers the manufacturing sector. Agile also accuses the Public Infrastructure Ministry of excessive political interference. According to him, no monies were spent on a number of projects which were allocated last year. The East Bank, East Coast, connection on the East Coast East Bank Road. Last year in the budget, $81 million was allocated for studies. I'm here to tell you, the minister's document says zero was expended. So nothing happened on the East Coast East Bank link, zero. Oh, you, you heard about the waterfront development and all the fancy thing about how we can be doing waterfront development last year in the budget 50 million dollars was allocated for study how much was expended zero zero the ministry of public infrastructure has been allocated 35 million dollars in the 2018 national budget sandy ramutar for mtv's news update Coming up, $110 million budgeted for the Local Government Commission, and Jagdio calls for the removal of VAT on the ICT sector. I like to give Mommy a bed, and I like to give Daddy a chair, because it's very nice. I can give my mom a microwave. I would like to get Mommy 
a washing machine and a dryer and I do not want her to hang out the clothes by herself. Merry Christmas! Welcome to Rosignol's Butchery. Here you'll find the freshest, most tender and flavorful meats, including steaks, burgers, sausages, minced meat, fish and more, plus packaged meats and cheeses. All this in a highly hygienic atmosphere. In our store, there is a wide variety of canned goods, sauces and marinades. Our friendly staff will cater to all your needs. Rosignol Butchery, we meet your needs. 7374 Church Street, Georgetown. Telephone 223-0004. We are the experts when it comes to creative marketing, brand campaigns, concept development, and production. With our diverse knowledge and tactical marketing strategies, we are the go-to company to reignite your brand. Having been in the industry for over 20 years, we are Ghana's number one choice for brand development. This is Annie Bina. She's a clothing designer and she really enjoys her work. She also likes to hang out with her friends. However, a life-changing event is about to occur. The mosquito that bit Annie Bina is infected with a tiny worm that causes lymphatic filariasis, also known as filaria. But what is filaria? Filaria is a disease that affects a person's lymphatic system, causing some body parts such as their feet or breasts to swell and eventually remain in a swollen state that cannot go back to normal. Filaria shows no symptoms during the early years. Untreatable chronic symptoms can appear sometimes as late as 20 years after infection. Since there are no symptoms in the beginning, most infected persons do not know they're infected, like anibina. When the symptoms begin to appear, it will be too late. Nothing will be able to make them disappear. Have you been bitten by a mosquito that transmits filaria? Are you sure that you've not been infected like Anibina? What can you do then, since you see no symptoms? Prevention is the best cure. A message from the Ministry of Public Health in collaboration with PAHO WHO. Introducing the new Softex Soft toilet, toilet tissue, tissue, now available across Guyana. Softex is silky smooth because it's made from virgin pulp. Softex is soft and gentle, soft to, and every gentle touch. to every touch. Even babies can use it. Manufactured and distributed by BPATS Paper Manufacturing, Eccles Industrial Site. The, the choice, choice is clear. clear. Two Softex toilet tissue, super soft and super durable, guaranteed. This is MTV News Update. Thank you for staying tuned. The recently reconfigured Local Government Commission is expected to be rigorously addressing matters of regulation, staffing and disputes of local government bodies next year. $110 million has been budgeted for the Commission. Here are the details from Sandy Ramatar. $110 million has been allocated for the recently installed Local Government Commission. This announcement was made during National Budget 2018 by Minister of Finance, Winston Jordan. Minister Jordan said the Commission will be supporting the capacities of local government organs and promoting transparency and accountability. The Local Government Commission has been allocated $110 million in the 2018 budget. In addition, the sum of $1 billion has been budgeted to be transferred to NDCs and the nine mayoralities. A further sum of $200 million is targeted to improve the city of Georgetown. The second consecutive local government election is scheduled for December 2018. 
Jordan stated that this testifies to the administration's unwavering commitment to inclusive democracy and their belief in the power of local democratic organs to manage their own affairs. All Guyanese will have a chance to reflect on the successes and shortcomings of their local government representatives and again be able to decide on the most suitable candidate, candidates who will best represent their interests for the following two years. While having those elections will not guarantee an effective local government system, Jordan said the government will be working with the municipalities and NDCs. The finance minister said this is to improve administrative and fiscal management. In addition to this, $2.9 billion was allocated in the national budget to support the work of the Guyana Elections Commission. Sandy Ramutar for MTV's News Update. The government will be undertaking another needs assessment to ascertain if there is a need to construct more pedestrian overpasses on the East Coast, West Coast and West Bank of Demerara. This announcement was made today by Minister within the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Annette Ferguson. Nicole John do with the details. Minister within the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Annette Ferguson said, the public transportation operators continue to show disregard for human lives. Minister Ferguson noted that on several occasions, she made use of public transportation and experienced drivers overloading the minibus and speeding. You have persons, these very minibuses that are providing a public service by way of public transportation, they do not observe the rules of the road. They continue to double up the minibuses. They continue to triple up the minibuses. These are things that I observe on a daily basis using the roads. And we have our users of these transportation services that do not, do not speak out. They remain silent. That is why we continue to lose our loved ones. Minister Ferguson believes that the pedestrian overpasses, which are being constructed on the east bank of the Marara, would reduce the number of road fatalities. She added that a study would be carried out on the east coast, west bank and west coast of the Marara to ascertain if there is a need to construct more pedestrian overpasses. To identify strategic points where we can have more overpass install because we recognize that we have to protect the lives of our pedestrians. But my fellow brothers and sisters, the only way all of these can be achieved is that we have to ensure the culture and the attitude of our road users are changed. So it must begin with us. Traffic Chief Dion Moore reiterated that pedestrians have been the main victims of road fatalities. He noted that pedestrians have to be more careful when using the roadways, while adding that drivers have a responsibility to ensure that they too use the road with care. Many a times, they use some, but they leave up one of the most important ones, common sense. With common sense, they will tell you that if you are crossing the road, you must observe the traffic. Nikhil John, the reporting for MTV News Update. With its continued push towards improving access to education in the hinterland regions, the government announced that teachers serving in these areas will see an 80% increase in the remote area incentives. Finance Minister Winston Jordan said, while much success has been made in the education sector, however, there is one thing that will prevent government from achieving certain goals. As such, Budget 2018 caters for an 80% increase in persons currently in receipt of $5,000 and $7,000 will see increases to $9,000 and $12,600 respectively. Minister of Finance Winston Jordan during the 2018 budget presentation revealed that the government is already in the process of securing U.S. $37.6 million to implement the first phase of the Smart Guyana program. That program, the minister said, is envisioned to be a national broadband initiative geared towards expanding the e-governance network. Find out more in this LaShawna Gomes-Canelius report. 
According to the Minister of Finance, Winston Jordan, the information and communications technology sector is continually advancing. The minister further relayed that ICT is beneficial and transformative to all other sectors in Guyana, especially to the sectors of transport, security, health and education. The information and communications technology sector is a continually advancing and evolving one. It has been transforming traditional sectors such as transport, security, health and education. There are newer and more intelligent smartphones being released almost every month, some of which can monitor your health to a high degree of accuracy. Homes are being designed with smart technology that will learn and adapt to owners' preferences and comfort while providing security measures. And classrooms that are fully digital provide a more immersive learning experience. While stressing on the importance of ICT to those sectors, Minister Jordan acknowledged that one of the ultimate goals of the government is to complete a process of liberalization of the telecommunications sector. Such liberalization will allow for more consumers and service providers from across the grid to have full availability and use of ICT within their communities. Notwithstanding, Government is fully committed to accelerating our assimilation of new technologies into where we do business and into our way of life. To this end, our focus is placed on completing the process of liberalization of the, of the telecommunications sector. Government is keen on having the benefits of a competitive ICT industry being passed on to the consumer in the form of improved services, added coverage, and reduced costs. Additionally, we will be working to further develop the requisite infrastructure to support such transformation. Our interventions going forward will be guided by our national ICT strategy, which will be finalized in 2018. Meanwhile, opposition leader Bar Jagdio, on the heels of Minister Jordan's budget speech for 2018, plainly criticized the government's position on the ICT sector. Jagdio asserted it should be the government's responsibility to have the value-added tax on the sector removed altogether. So they're upgrading the LTE system that we left in place, and the money is going to come, the $2.3 billion from a new loan from Huawei, for Huawei to upgrade the system. But what about the tax? If you so love this sector, why not remove the tax on data? The value added tax that you put last year on data, that is so critical to the future of the, the industry that is the ICT industry. Without, without cheap data, you can develop the sector. And he did nothing in that regard. Reporting for MTV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Cornelius. More news ahead. Stay tuned. Curtains, curtains, more curtains. A decor and gift gallery. Pick your curtains for your living room, kitchen, bedroom, or just add some colors to the curtains you already have to give that Christmassy look. Shop your Christmas curtains today from Decor and Gift Gallery. It's November already, and soon it will be Christmas. So we at John Lewis Styles want to give you something to look forward to. We're giving away one RCA tablet every week in November and one every day in December. You heard right, one tablet every week in November and one every day in December. Shop for clothing, footwear, watches, fragrances, handbags, and even luggage. Each purchase gives you a chance to win, plus lots more surprises to come. John Lewis Styles, simply different. We are the experts when it comes to creative marketing, brand campaigns, concept development, and production. With our diverse knowledge and tactical marketing strategies, we are the go-to company to reignite your brand. Having been in the industry for over 20 years, we're Ghana's number one choice for brand development. You can be a millionaire!
Fair by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick bet for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. Gafu is has been Guyana's largest manufacturer of steel products since 1970, and we were the first to introduce alu zinc and pre-painted corrugated sheets, which are produced in several widths and gauges and can be cut to any desired length. They're available in ripple, non-ripple, clay tile, non-clay tile, and trapezoidal designs. We supplement our corrugated sheets with curved sheets and ridging in alu zinc and pre-painted finishes. Also galvanized deckings for casting concrete floors, manufactured in several thicknesses and can be cut to any length from 6 feet to 30 feet. Some of the other products produced by us are galvanized purlin in widths of 4, 6 and 8 inches and to lengths 6 feet to 40 feet. BRC fabric in sheets 6.35 mm, sizes 20 feet by 8 feet, suitable for heavy concrete flooring or areas of heavy traffic. At Gafu's, we produce the best quality at the most competitive prices and also offer the best services in the hardware business. All our steel products are available at any of our seven locations countrywide. Gafu's, the name you can trust. You are tuned to News Update. Welcome back. Minister of Agriculture Noel Holder states that early warning signs of climate change must be delivered to citizens, which could prove crucial to safeguarding lives. The minister made this statement at the opening of the two days Caribbean Climate Outlook Forum at the Marriott Hotel. Lashana Gomes Cornelius with the details. The forum serves to provide an avenue for climate scientists, meteorologists and decision makers from recognizable local and international agencies to effectively use climate information. While welcoming the team of climate experts and enthusiasts to the forum, Director Acting of the Hydrometeorological Service of Guyana, Dr. Gavin Cummings, said that Guyana's Hydromet office has been taking significant steps to accurately report on climatic activities. This, he emphasized, is beneficial to safeguarding the nation's people and its agriculture. I believe that um, once we continue to work together, even beyond this event and this occasion, the fruits of our labor will be, will be shown in terms of the kind of development that we see on the ground, whether it's in engineering, whether it's in our culture and health, tourism. I believe that forums like this would ensure that all sectors benefit and that they are all improved. Minister of Agriculture Noel Holder during his feature address at the forum said that climate change adaptation risk reduction integration is a pressing issue of concern to all nations. The minister stressed since Guyana is below sea level, with most of its population and agriculture lying along the country's coastland, the effects of climate change poses a severe risk to the country. It is in this regard that measures should be taken to adequately provide a public early warnings information which could prove crucial to safeguarding lives. Early warning can often prevent a hazard turning into a human disaster by preventing loss of life and reducing the economic and material impact. However, for it to be effective, the significance of its impact lies in the recognition of its benefits by government and communities at risk. According to a recent report made by the Hydrometeorological Department, as the country's coast is presently going through the wet season, the annual oncoming dry season is expected to hit major parts of the southern regions. For many living within those regions, the dry season will usually bring with it severe droughts, which could prove detrimental to crops and livestock. Reporting for MTV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Cornelius. Police on Monday arrested a 22-year-old mine of Kopinang Village Patara River with an unlicensed single-barrel shotgun and three live 12-gauge cartridges. The arrest was made about 13 hours 40 at Kurubang back down Patara River as a result of intelligence gathered. The following day, police acting on information went to a camp at Kurbang Back Dam and conducted a search during which they found 338 grams of cannabis. A 33-year-old miner and his 29-year-old wife of Grove Village East Bank Demerara are in custody. 
Opposition Member of Parliament Pauline Sukai says national budget 2018 does a little for Amerindians. According to the former minister, jobs for youths should have been a priority for the government. Former Minister of Amerindian Affairs, now known as the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Pauline Sukai said that budget 2018 has little for Amerindians. Sukai mentioned that there is no support for Amerindian development. The Member of Parliament stated the 2018 budget does not include any measure to bridge the gap between the hinterland and coastland. Sukai further mentioned that most of the present projects are those that were initiated by the People's Progressive Party government. Failure so much that they have been asking for additional time and extension to bring to closure some of these projects which should have been closed since 2015, 2016, mid. And therefore, the, it begs the question um, whether there is any seriousness um, by the coalition government, AFC and A APNU AFC government, to ensure that there is a concerted effort to inject investment in the hinterland to ensure that there's positive opportunities and that the good life of indigenous people will um, be realized. The opposition member of parliament noted clearly that the good life for Amerindians are no more since the APNU AFC regime came into power in 2015. According to Sukai, information communication and technology programs for the hinterland were all facilitated by the PPP government. I would like to say that this project was proposed by the PPP civic government. We have been on track with that proposal in terms of its execution and implementation to the extent that facilities were constructed to house the software, the equipment, um, hardware, software of all the hubs which were expected to be completed by um, 2015. Two years down the line, 2018 budget is struggling to once more try to reinvigorate something which for the last two budget have been um, they've been speaking about. The Member of Parliament emphasized on the creation of jobs for youths in Amerindian villages. The 2018 national budget allocates $1.5 billion for hinterland roads and also $2.4 million to hinterland housing development. Reporting for MTV's News Update, I am Yanis Abrams. Stay tuned for regional and international news as well as the Ghana Stock Exchange. today's fast-paced world of modern finance with its many options and opportunities you will need good advice and help getting value for your money hand in hand trust is the way to go from owning your own home or business with our residential and commercial mortgages we'll help you realize your dreams you can also access investment deposit accounts share brokerage services personal trust, thrift and pension plan trusteeship, property management, investment portfolio management, safe deposit boxes, the convenience of our Cambio, Western Union and Bill Express services. Hand in hand trust for financial services and more. Helping you get the most out of your financial resources and your life. That you are so irresistible. You kiss my lips, causing a crave that is unfixable. Every time I taste you, I fall so deep in love with you. Tango. 
relish the smooth, creamy chocolate taste of Tango chocolates and fruit and nut, almond or pure milk chocolate. It takes two to eat and two to tango. Tango chocolates imported and distributed by Awahab Trading, Bar Street Kitty, and available nationwide. Tango. Father Mui and Comrade Beer brings East Coast Cricket Festival on Saturday, 2nd December at Lusignan Center Ground. First prize, $250,000 plus trophy. Second prize, $100,000 plus trophy. Entrance V $5,000. Limited teams allowed. Register early. Lots of Comrade Beer specials and giveaways all night. Action starts from 5 p.m. sharp. Admission free before 7 p.m. East Coast Cricket Festival on Saturday, 2nd December. Compliments of Choke Gas Station, BM So. Trophy stall, star party rental, and cut rib beer. Beer, beer. Exchange closing prices for trading session 749. Let's turn our attention to the Denmark Harbor Bridge schedule. Technology Wrap is next, stay with us. When reliability is not an option, you need a supplier you can trust. This skilled technician depends on Farfan and Mendes for heavy duty tools. This landscaper earns a living using still equipment. High rates of production and recovery lead to this sawmiller trusting his operation to Wood Miser. Mothers trust the water filtration systems for the health of their families. Thanks to the automatic backup systems, you'll never be left in the dark again. Farfan and Mendes, offering you solutions you can depend on. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Secret is out! 
Papayo's Cuter Shop is the absolute best place to shop if you're looking for quality products at the lowest prices in the widest possible variety. Choose from a vast array of custom-made quality wooden furniture in endless designs, electrical and household appliances, clothing, cell phones and accessories, and much, much more. Me so much in this store, guys. Me confused and a price low to Pio's Pizza Shop and Household Appliances, located at Anna Caterina, West Coast Demerara. Free delivery available. Freddy, now me know the secret. I like all oh, you know the secret. Everybody know the secret. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Star Technology Wrap. As always, I'm your host Rajesh Lakan along with Yannick Sobers. And this week, we will be discussing ways to keep you and your valuables secure with brands such as Honeywell and QC Security Systems available right here at Stars. Yannick, go ahead and tell us about these brands and how much secure we will be with having one of these. Yes, I'm glad you talked about um, you mentioned security because I mean security is a big deal always, all the time, especially during the Christmas season. So um, at Star Computers, you know we have some of the biggest brands when it comes to security. I mean, you mentioned Honeywell, you mentioned QC, and these are two of the reputable brands that we back. Um, when it comes to Honeywell, as you know, we have our Honeywell alarm systems available at Star Computer. We even have a live demo whereby you can be able to hear or even test the system to hear. How how it actually works and then you know see how it can actually help you in a situation I mean think about it you're at home and um, it's it's late in the night you know you're sleeping and you hear something most times you don't want to get up and check I mean but if you have a Honeywell system you know you know that you're safe you can get an alert um, this system will trigger off if someone tries to open the door or even if they don't even come in but you're still worried you may hear something in the yard you can actually trigger your alarm with okay. a panic button I mean these are great things to have because you know persons they they tend to not think so much about security until, until something, something happens, happens and then most times you know it, it's too late so I think it's it's very um, important and necessary at this time or even all the time I would say to have a um, your, your, your premises or even your valuable things secured and you feel safe at home. I mean, you have your kids and so many things home there. So, And all of those features you spoke about is coming from both brands, Honeywell and Houston um, systems? Yes, well, mostly, I guess I mentioned there the alarm systems that mm -hmm. comes from the Honeywell brand. Um, when it comes to QC, um, you know that we have some of the great, some of the best cameras you can actually buy. Um, you have IP cameras, you can get really crisp resolution um, you get up to four megapixels and even higher um, we also have your entry-level um, analog HD systems whereby you can get those for under hundred thousand dollars in some cases depending uh -huh. on the amount of um, cameras that you're doing and the QC cameras are very good because even when you're away you know this is one of the things we mention a lot you have remote monitoring you can be able to know what's happening while you're not there you just pull out your phone once it's linked to your DVR you can have everything viewed right there on your phone so these are some of the great things about security um, systems that you should think about when you're purchasing one or at any time I mean we want to be safe at all times you know no one likes to lose anything everyone wants to know that you know everything is safe and secure at home so or even at your business Yannick you mentioned security cameras security alarm the magnetic alarm how about security lights um, yes, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, with Honeywell system, um, when you purchase one of those systems, we actually have our uh, our wired package 
which you can purchase the the security flashing lights mm -hmm. to add to that and um i was actually met, uh, talking with one of our technicians the other day and he was mentioning to me that when you have the flashing lights most people think that this is for maybe uh, visually impaired persons you know because you know you wouldn't be able to hear it but if you see the light you would know that something is wrong but that light actually helps for persons who are coming to your mm -hmm. aid also you know the flashing lights exactly it gives you an alert also so it's it's really really good to have um and we have all those add-on pieces that you can purchase when you purchase one of the, the honeywell kits you can get um you can get the lights you can get um the outdoor sirens we even have the map the the vibration sensor which is good you know in Guyana we have a lot of grill doors and stuff you know so mm -hmm. that's pretty good it picks up great vibration any deal currently on on this security um, system at the moment we currently don't have any deals but mm -hmm. however we do have great prices always at star computer so make sure you check out our showroom um, we're located at 59 brick dam just as soon as you come over um, orange walk you can't miss it. It's a big gray building, one of the best buildings on Camp Street, I must I'm sorry, on Breakdown, I must say. <laughs> Give us an update on last weekend, five days of Black Friday sale. Well, actually, Black Friday, the five days were actually great. I mean, we had a great turnout from our, our, um, our customers out there, and we want to say thank you to you guys. Um, it was a pleasure being able to serve you guys also. On Friday, I must say, it was crazy in here i mean we had a lot of persons coming in um persons were picking up tablets phones everything basically they could get their hands on and it was it was really nice i mean it was great to be a part of that and we look forward to it next year once again as we head into the christmas season can we expect any major deal on um holiday? yes everyone is always looking out for great deals um rajesh we will be having um sales on different items for the christmas season but you have to stay tuned to the program and also check us out on facebook to make sure you know what we will have on sale and when the sales begin so keep watching and keep uh, connected with our facebook page well thank you yannick and that's what we have for you in this week edition of star technology wrap do join us next week wednesday for another edition That's all we have for your newscast tonight. Before we go, here's a recap of our major headlines. President Granger reiterated that public officers must take their leave and not request cash instead. Parliamentary opposition vows to bring the fire to the budget debate. Pensioner crushed by truck while crossing her cattle over the Lower Souvenir Public Road. An economist says budget 2018 is replete with old ideas. The newscast can be viewed online on MTV's Facebook page and also on our YouTube channel. The news will be rebroadcasted later tonight at 23 hours and at 6 hours on Thursday, November 30. On behalf of our news team, I'm Ashley Scott and thanking you for watching. Good night.